Mickey, have you got a scratch? Come here. Come on. Come on. Back up. I'll scratch it for you. I'll scratch it for you. Oh, is that the right scratchy spot? Oh, I think we've got the scratchy spot, guys. You look so happy that I've got your scratchy spot. Oh, yeah. Is it itchy? Is it itchy? Oh, my goodness. What is that face? I can see your little teethies. Okay. <laughs> have I got your scratch? You're going to carry on. Oh, he's going for it, guys. He is boogie woogieing. He's disco dancing. Oh, I'm gonna get hit in the face in a second. Mickey, you need to you need to stand still. We're filming a video. We're filming a video all about you. How good is that? Okay. Am I just gonna have to give you a little scratch so you stay still? Okay. Are you happy? Are you happy? Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Mickey. You're still scratching. <laughs> Mickey, back. I know it's itchy. I know it's itchy with your sensitive Cremello skin, but we've got to film a video, okay? Yes. You ready? I'm just gonna have to give you a little scratch the whole video so you stay still. Okay. Hello everybody, this is me, and for today's video, I thought I would do one all about different horse breeds, so I was planning this video, and then it came to me, I don't know what breed Mickey is. Now, Mickey is definitely a one in a million horse, Inside and out, I don't think there are many like him. So Casper here is a Connemara. I've looked back at the furthest I can go with his history and pretty much all of his parentage have all been Connemaras. So his grandmas, his granddads, his mum and his dad were all Connemaras. I think his dad was actually pretty good like showing Connemara. I think he was a dun. I think Casper takes a little bit more after his mother though. I don't know too much about his mum, but all I know, oh, thank you Casper. Sorry, was I being rude to you? Was I being rude? Mickey, stop coughing! So, um, yeah, Casper's passport name is Turpane Bill. So I don't know if it was called like Bill or Billy in the past. Um, I don't know when his name was changed to Casper, but to me, he's always been known as Casper and I've called him as like a little nickname, my little friendly ghost horse, like Casper the friendly ghost. Mickey, be quiet! <laughs> so anyway, Casper is, yeah, pretty much just full Connemara and then if we go over to Joey you want the scratchies too you've seen Mickey get the scratchies and you want the attention as well yes okay so Joey here we know absolutely everything about we know his dad and we know his mum we know where he was born the day he was born where he grew up we have so many baby photos of him which is Joey excuse me so his mum was an inventor um, and a thoroughbred and his dad was a Belgian warm blood um, and a show jumper and a very good show jumper as well an Olympic show jumper I believe but no offense Joey but I, I don't think we'll be going to the Olympics <laughs> not quite but um, I think when Joey grows up he will look quite a lot like his dad because he is a sort of like dapply steely grey at the moment and over time unfortunately he is gonna get lighter and lighter and eventually your coat will well you'll be a gr he'll be a gray but the coat like the little hairs will all be white and you'll look very different to how you're looking now hey mister but um yeah he's very cute we know a lot about him so yeah he's a thoroughbred cross warm blood so sometimes when he's galloping around the field or i take him hacking and he wants to go on his zoomies then he um is a little bit more like his mother's side a little bit more thoroughbred -y. and then when i'm doing flat work with him and he's actually moving really nicely you can kind of see the warm blood come in him as well yes now in mickey's passport i will go and grab it now but in mickey's passport it says he is an irish sports horse now um i don't think mickey is an irish sports horse number one there aren't many things about mickey that um the word sport correlates with um you're not the sportiest of ponies are you mate and then number two is he is a pony and not a horse um so i thought i would have a look on the eHorses website who have very kindly sponsored today's video and have a look at some irish sports horses because no offense mickey but i don't think you are an irish sports horse so Let's go on to the eHorses website. So it's really good because you can have a look at lots of different breeds of horses, different colors of horses. You can also choose your location. So here we have a bay mare who's 15-1. I think that's a little bit bigger than you are. Um, and here we have another. Mickey, 
I know, I know, you're getting jealous of all these other horses, but you've got, you've got to have a look. So look, there's one here that does a venting, yeah. I don't think you've ever done a venting before. I can't say at Pony Club, um, cross country was your strong point, but we had fun. Um, oh, there's a dressage one here, very fancy. But um, all of these horses look a bit look a bit bigger than you, Mix. I, I don't think you are an Irish sports horse. So I'll go and get your passport and we'll have another little check and see if we can find any more information about you. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry, you've gone all sad and sleepy now. I know you want to be an Irish sports horse, but I just don't think you are, honey. No. <laughs> oh, Mix. I didn't mean to upset you. All right, Mickey, do you want to have a little look at your passport? Yeah. Okay, so it says that your passport name is Our Pal. That's quite cute, because you're like my best friend, hey? And then it says your coat colour is white. Uh, so I always thought Mickey was a Cromello. Apparently he's white because, you know, he's got pink skin. I guess he's not as creamy as other Cromellos I've met, so he might be white, I'm not sure, or he might be a Cromello, I don't know. Apparently like white coloured horses are really, really, really rare, but I don't think he is. I think he's a Cromello. Um, gelding, born in 1999. You are 133 centimetres. Oh, thank you for the, thank, oh, don't eat your passport. That is important. That is important, okay. So, um, we don't have any information on his mum or on his dad. And it says Irish sports horse for his breed. I can't believe Mickey is an Irish sports horse. Maybe like an Irish bog pony, but I don't think he's an Irish sports horse. So yes, today we're gonna be DNA testing Mickey. So we're gonna find out finally what breed he is. I hope he's part unicorn or part Pegasus, but um, that probably won't be the case. But anyway, with DNA testing, it's gonna be a bit sciencey. So now it's time for the science part. I knew that biology and chemistry A-level would help me with my YouTube career. So anyway guys, we're going to be sending Mickey's DNA off to the United States that's going to be going to the Texas A&M University. So to hello to everybody that's watching in the States. So DNA is deoxyribose nucleic acid and that is found in the nucleus of your cells. So we're going to be comparing Mickey's DNA to 50 different horse breeds. So genetically, horse breeds are pretty similar. Um, so we're going to be finding out the top three breeds that make up a Mickey. Don't worry, Mickey, you're not alone. Yes, I'm going to be DNA testing myself as well. So we're going to find out a little bit more about my ancestry. I know on both sides of my family, I'm pretty sure I have some Irish ancestry. I think on my mum's side, we have more like Spanish, French. And then on my dad's side, I think we have more sort of Scandinavian countries, I think, such as like Finland and Sweden, but we will see. I'm not too sure. So we're going to look at where my ancestors have come from. So they're going to be checking out my DNA with many different populations all over the world. So Mickey, don't worry. We're all in this together. <laughs> we're going to have to get some of your mane. We're going to have to send it off. So we might need to get you a bit cleaner. Oh, you're just hiding. You're hiding. Mickey, we're going to have to make you a bit cleaner to test your DNA because we've got to send off your mane and his mane at the moment is just mud. There's like 90% mud, 10% mane here. <laughs> Mickey, how'd you get so dirty? So the sample that they want from Mickey is actually part of his mane or tail. Um, usually with humans, they do like a saliva one, so you have to spit into a tube, which I feel like would actually be pretty easy with Mickey because he is a very licky and slobbery pony. But anyway, we're just gonna try and give his mane a little bit of a clean up. This bit still has a tiny bit of green in that just has not come out from Christmas when we gave him a very festive mane. But I'm gonna try and get just a bit of bit of mud out of his mane because this is something else. I, Mickey's mane grows so quickly in so many different directions. It gets so long so quickly. I, um, I actually, when we did like a Mickey makeover back in the autumn, I, I'm pretty sure like I made it to around here and it's doubled in length since then. So I'm gonna flip this over because it is supposed to go onto the right Mickey and at the moment it goes on both sides because it's so long and out of control. 
wild like his personality. Your mane is just everywhere. <laughs> it's so knotty. I don't want to put any like mane and tail conditioner in it because obviously we're sending off a mane sample. But also I find when their manes are so dusty and dirty like this, it just makes the dust and dirt stick to the mane rather than being brushed off. But we can, we can try our best, Mickey. We might have to apologize to the scientists that are gonna test your DNA being like, hmm, you might get a few mud samples <laughs> with, the, uh, with the mane as well. But it's, it's looking better, Mickey, we're getting there. It's looking better. So this is the tricky bit. We've got to collect some of Mickey's DNA. Unfortunately, we cannot just chop bits of his mane off. We actually have to pull it because they need the little hair follicle, which is right at the end. So that's where they get the DNA. So um, we are gonna pull Mickey's mane. I know a lot of horses have this done regularly to uh, make their mane look neater. Mickey, I don't think I've ever really properly pulled his mane before and I'm very out of practice because I usually don't pull my horse's mane I cut it instead which I know is a big bad thing to do in the horse world you're not supposed to but it works for me and my horses so they need 50 hairs so I might do like 10 at a time like this is a really small amount but it looks I think that's actually quite a lot of hair but it's a very small amount so what we're gonna do is we're gonna back comb it also I'm using a plastic mane and tail brush or comb when metal ones are a lot easier to do this with but um cannot find it so we're using a plastic one uh, so you back comb it up so here are the hairs that we have we wrap it around and then just gently pull that out so i think hopefully <gasps> yeah we have a little the little hair follicles at the end okay we've got some of some precious precious mane oh I need to put this away. <laughs> okay guys, here is Mickey's DNA sample. Mickey, please do not eat it or lick it because this is very important, yes. So here we have all of the hair follicles at the end. Then that's just the top and we've had to <laughs> sellotape it to this piece of paper that I've got to fill out all of Mickey's information or everything we know about Mickey pretty much is gonna go on here and our contact information. So um, as you can see, Mickey, wasn't bothered at all by me pulling his mane he was very chilled about it you're a very good boy so anyway i will be back with you guys when the results are in when we know what breed mickey is and i'm gonna go and do my test now as well which is gonna involve a lot of spit apparently <laughs> good boy you excited <gasps> wait 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 we need to we need to we need to guess what breed mickey is gonna be because I just, I don't know, I think he might have a bit of Highland Pony in him or maybe a bit of Shetland because he is a little bit hairy and a bit chunky or maybe like sometimes when he's frolicking around the field and has his tail right up in the air he looks a little bit like he's got some Arab in him so I have no idea. Let me know in the comments below what breed you think Mickey is or the top three breeds that might come up. I think those are going to be my guesses. Basically lots of different sort of types of ponies, which I feel like isn't the best guess because he's a pony. So obviously he's going to be a type of pony, but Mickey, whatever breed you are, you're still one in a million and you're still the only Mickey that's out there. Yeah, good boy. Alright everybody, it is now four weeks later, I'm back here with Mickey, um, it's actually feeling a lot more spring-like today than it was um, back four weeks ago, so I'm not wearing a woolly hat today, but anyway, Mickey, the results are in, are you excited? You feeling good? So uh, my results actually arrived first, so we're going to go through mine first. If you don't mind, you've waited long enough, hopefully you can wait a little bit longer. So anyway, let's have a little look inside. Be funny if we're from the same place, Mix. Okay, no, we're not doing mail time, Mickey. I'm sorry, we're not doing mail time unless. Do you want to? Do you want to take out? Do you want to take out my results? Oh, he can still do it, guys. Oh, there we go. Okay, Mickey, I need it back now. I need it. Don't get your slobber chops all over it. Okay, there we go. It's only it's only a little bit damp. Okay, let's have a little look. Ooh, okay. Ooh, all right. All 
right, so I'll put the results on the screen now. Oh, you want to come this side? Okay. So, surprise, surprise, I am mostly English. Um, specifically, I'm actually from East Yorkshire, so that's near where Blob the Cobb is, Kate Lewis. So, uh, hi, Kate. Uh, we might be related, <laughs> not really, but um, uh, I'm also a little bit from North and West Europe, so kind of like Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, France sort of area. Um, I also am a little bit Scandinavian, which I thought actually, um, from my family history. So yes, um, my genes and ethnicity is slightly Scandinavian. If you think about it, um, East Yorkshire is kind of near um, the sort of Scandinavian country countries, so Sweden, Norway. So if you think about it, I think like a thousand years ago, ever, my ancestors were probably Vikings. So uh, your gal is part Viking probably. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, isn't it, Mick? Are you ready to open your results? Do you want to open them like in mail time? Oh. Grab it. Good boy. Okay, no, you're not eating it. You're not eating the results. We paid quite a bit of money to have you tested. We want to know what you are. Okay, Mickey, I am going to have to read it to you because I don't think you can read. I'm sorry about that. Um, but anyway, let's um, open it up. Oh my goodness. That is not what I was expecting. No. Okay, okay. I'll let, I'll let you know what it is. I know you're excited. You ready? You ready? In number one, we have standard bread. So Mickey, you are probably most likely to be a standard bread. So standard bread is actually an American horse breed. Um, they're known for their harness racing. I don't know if you've ever done harness racing in your life. I don't think so. Not that I know of. Um, but your blood, um, your bloodlines, Mickey. Oh, you're having a scratch. Mickey, this is so important. You're being so rude having a scratch. Do you? I think he's a little bit, I think he's he's just taking in all the emotions of finding out what breed he is after so many years and I think it's just hit him that he's just got to have a scratch to calm down, okay? <laughs> Are you done with your scratch? Okay, so um, standard bred horses, they actually originate from England in 1780 but then went over to America, so you never know because Mickey was born and bred in Ireland and to me he will forever be an Irish pony because that's where he's from. But um, Mickey, you, you're kind of American, which is interesting. Um, for number two, horse number two is a Morgan horse, which again is another American breed, which is very interesting. Um, and these were also coach horses or harness horses. So again, Mickey, we should get a little harness for you because your bloodlines say that you're gonna be excellent at that. Okay, you wanna have a little lick. And then number three is a Peruvian Paso, which I'm not gonna lie, I hadn't really heard of much before, but basically it's a horse that originates from Peru. So Mickey, you really are Mr. Worldwide. How do you feel about that, huh? Yeah, very exciting. Um, so I thought we'd have a little look on e-horses and see if we can find these horse breeds and see if they look like Mickey's. All right, so we're gonna have a little look at some horses that are supposed to be Mickey's breed, see if they look similar to him. I feel like all of these horses, they're supposed to be around 14, 15, three hands. Mickey's 13 hands, so maybe he's just like a mini version of them, but you are definitely Mickey one of a kind. So I thought I'd try and find these horse breeds online, look at some pictures of them that are Cremello, so hopefully they'll look kind of similar to Mickey. I feel like if you kind of shrunk them down, they do look a bit like, him or like parts of each one like sometimes like oh they look like they have Mickey's legs or oh, they look like they have Mickey's face or Mickey's butt um are you getting tired now of me just talking on and on about your horse breed are you getting a bit bored yeah cool blimey you need to get some rest mate if you're yawning like that it's only the morning um but yeah so let me know in the comments below what breed you thought mickey was going to be did these breeds surprise you because they definitely surprised me i thought he was going to be some sort of welsh pony something like that 
All right, guys, so today's video has definitely been a different one. We have found out that Mickey is Mr. Worldwide. He is from all over the place, and he is definitely one of a kind. Um, but anyway, um, I'd like to say a huge thank you to eHorses for sponsoring today's video and making today's video possible. Um, it has been so fun finding out Mickey's DNA. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching today's video. I hope you found it as exciting as I did. Leave a comment below what breed you thought Mickey was going to be and if you were surprised about what breeds he is I was definitely so shocked when I found out I was like what um, but now looking at the photos I can kind of see the Mickey resemblance um, but of course even though like horse breeds horses can be kind of similar I feel like Mickey is definitely ve still very one of a kind and probably isn't that much like those horse breeds maybe like a little mixture of all of them I don't know um, but thank you so much for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe um, if you haven't done so already, I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Hey, how exciting! We finally know what breed you are. Yeah? Oh, you are so tired out. Are you tired out from finding all the exciting news? You're still processing it, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Mwah.